Dr. Mehta, welcome. Would you please introduce yourself? I'm Amit Kumar Mehta. I'm the director of lymphoma program and CAR-T program at the uh, O'Neill Comprehensive Cancer Center at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I'm also a medical director of clinical trial office at UAB. Great, thank you so much for joining us today. In your opinion, what does it mean to thrive with DLBCL? Kathleen, um, it's a very important question because you know the cancer um, is, uh, we, we in our clinic call this a, a, a C word, um, and it is very dangerous, um, shocking in most of, most of the time. You know, when somebody is diagnosed with cancer, their whole life changes. Um, and in that, the first, um, first reaction is shock, that why me, why this happened to me? And you know, either you're a, you're a mother, you are a, a father, or many other roles that we have uh, in our life, uh, everything kind of pauses. Um, and then it takes a little while for them to kind of understand the situation and kind of resurrect you know, uh, in, a, in a fight mode. Um, and then everything changes. The other important thing is information about um, a cancer or any cancer as a matter of fact. Then we kind of assess the situation, uh, assess the treatment options, which are plenty. And then we go in a, in a mode that we want to fight it out. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. This all helps to kind of um, um, uh, you know, thrive in that situation. But for that, the most important part is the information about the cancer, information about um, the treatment. And that way we can get together ourselves and we can say that now I'm ready to fight whatever uh, it may come in. Um, many people cling to faith. Many people cling to their family. Many people uh, cling to their support um, to have that mode of fight uh, with the cancer. And I say that if all of this has, uh, it's kind of a recipe, if it all comes together, then you can thrive well throughout the whole, um, uh, the phase of uh, diagnosis to treatment, to, you know, if you're cured in a subsequent part of your life.